Hey there, Science Quickly fans. Some of you have probably been listening to this podcast from the very beginning, which is no small feat. This show is just about old enough to vote, which makes it ancient in podcast years. We here at Scientific American are so grateful to have you as listeners, but we aren't surprised that so many of you have stuck around. For almost 18 years, you've been able to count on this feed for intriguing, enriching science news that always makes the most of your time. We know there are a lot more shows to listen to than there were in 2006, which gives us all the more reason to deliver short and efficient scientific insights straight to your eardrums. Of course, like any organism with staying power, science quickly has evolved. I mean, remember when the show used to be like literally a minute long and when it had a totally different name? life comes at you fast. You can probably guess where this is going. Science Quickly is growing and changing once more. For starters, the show is getting a new host. That's me. I'm Rachel Feltman. You may have heard me popping in and out of the Science Quickly feed over the past few weeks. You might also recognize me from my regular appearances on Science Friday or my previous gigs as executive editor of Popular Science and founder of the Washington Post's Speaking of Science blog. I am also the host of Pop Size hit podcast, The Weirdest Thing I Learned This Week, where I take listeners on deep dives into the strangest stories from science history I can find. I love learning new stuff and sharing it with as many people as possible, and I'm so excited to get to do more of that with you all. Starting on Monday, May 13th, you'll hear me in pretty much every episode of Science Quickly. Don't worry, you'll still hear from your favorite Scientific American reporters and editors, as well as an exciting assortment of authors, experts, and on-the-ground reporters. I'll be there to ask them all the questions that you want answered. You can also expect a fun new rhythm to your Science Quickly feed. Every Monday, I'll kick off your week with a speedy digest of the latest science news. I'll fill you in on all the stuff you might have missed the week before and tip you off about any big events to anticipate in the week ahead. On Wednesdays, we'll hunker down for slightly longer chats with authors, experts, and Scientific American editors. These Anchor Day episodes will offer deeper dives into science stories, global issues, news you can use, and more. Every Friday, we'll get to kick back and enjoy a fascination. These episodes will be just long enough to immerse you in a story that we think is just well, fascinating. We'll follow reporters to far off places, ponder deep and unanswered questions, and meet people who are using science to change the world. We love a good experiment over here at Science Quickly, and we hope you'll help us find the right variables to tweak. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about our new episode formats or ideas for stories we should cover, give us a shout at sciencequickly at siam.com. You can also find that email address in the show notes for this episode. We'll be taking next week off to get everything prepped for our big relaunch, but I'll be back on Monday, May 13th with our first weekly science news roundup. See you then. Science Quickly is produced by Rachel Feltman, Kelso Harper, Corinne Leong, Madison Goldberg, and Jeff Del Vicio. Today's episode was hosted by me, Rachel Feltman. Ella Fetter, Alexa Lim, Madison Goldberg, and Anaisa Ruiz Tejada edit our show, with fact-checking from Shayna Poses and Aaron Shattuck. Our theme music was composed by Dominic Smith. Subscribe to Scientific American for more up-to-date and in-depth science news. Thanks for listening. Listening.